My video for November the 17th, 2018, which is video number 2910, is entitled, Imagine an External Threat, or an Internal One. I remember hearing Ronald Reagan's speech at the UN about how quickly we'd come together if there was an external threat from aliens. That was back in the 1980s, a long time ago for some. some since then, we have experienced a much more real threat, one on our own planet Earth by aliens appearing human. Of course, humans have many differences in appearance, none of which really matter. Yet most of our so-called leaders seem to have an insane agenda of human destruction. Take out the profit motive, and there is no sane basis for continuing our propensity to go to war. But is this a human idiosyncrasy or merely one imposed upon us by control freaks hell-bent on dominating the world? As I see it, this beautiful planet was long ago co-opted by a malevolent race that has no intention of promoting anything that will affect their bottom line and ability to manipulate the masses. Besides personal transformation, one of my most fervent prayers has been for some kind of intervention that will shift our consciousness somehow. Will that ever happen? Some see it happening already. There was a time I thought I did as well. I'm just not sure anymore. I'd like to experience some internal assurances that my life and many others have not been lived in vain. This requires a visible and tangible shift that is undeniable. I'm still waiting for that. Yes, I struggle day by day. I have people making suggestions to me and wanting me to talk about this subject or that subject. And when I go inside and I try to quiet down and, and figure out now what is the best thing, when I go into that state of meditation or contemplation, whichever you want to call it, I still look at the big picture, which is the big picture for me, of wanting change, not that I can believe in, but that I can actually witness firsthand and experience firsthand. One that I can uh, tell is not just affecting me, but it's affecting a broad and wide spectrum of humans on this planet. I'd like to see an actual awakening. But I know that technology has not been used to advance the human race, but to dumb us down and to control us. So much of our education is presented to us in little boxes. And the boxes are independent of one another. There's no interrelationship between them. And there should be. If we're going to love one another, there has to be. If we're going to know the truth, there has to be something that opens our minds to the point that we can see how everything is interconnected and how we have been corrupted to continuously be at war. Now, I think it's because most of our codons were turned off, and that was a genetic modification in the human race that happened a long time ago and was perfected perhaps eons ago, certainly thousands of years, not centuries, but millennia. Folks, I know it sounds to many like a broken record. And I get things from my talking horse friend, Mr. Ed, <laughs> and he's not really a talking horse, obviously, uh, and others who keep showing me that there's, not showing me, I wish they were showing me, they're telling me that there are actual changes being taken place and that Donald Trump is draining the swamp as he promised. I'd like to see the evidence of that. I really would. 
I mean, I'd be a Donald Trump fan if he would sever his relationship with the terrorist nations, including the terrorist nation of the corporate United States, and start telling truth that will liberate us. Of course, it could be argued that if he were to tell such truths, it would create a civil war because so many people are so brainwashed to think that it's my way or the highway. That happens in religion and politics, which are, again, the two subjects we're not supposed to talk about. Why aren't we supposed to talk about them? Because that's where the infiltration has come from. That's where we've been misled and brainwashed from the very beginning. Money has been used as a control system, not to free us, but to keep us enslaved with the illusion that we are free. Folks, why does it, what is it going to take? Why is it so hard for me to get this through to people? Why is it so hard to wake people up? Many are waking up. I realize that. I have friends that are constantly searching for avenues that can be uh, accessed that will liberate us. And some of those are legal remedies. Uh, all of them involve knowing more of what is actually true because so much of what we've been told is verifiably untrue. We have been deceived and fed lies to the point where we don't even know most of us who we are anymore. We've lost our connection with love and with light and with truth and with justice and with concepts that would benefit all of us if we could only get on the same page and start working together. But no, it's divide and conquer. That has been the modality from from the beginning, I was going to say, but I don't really believe it was from the beginning. It was from the new beginning, which was the distortion, where everything became chaotic and out of control, or out of the control of benevolence into the control of malevolent forces, demonic forces. Yes, I, I perceive our reality exactly in those terms. We have to be able to rise up. And it's an internal one personally, but it's also an internal one collectively. See, there is no real collective. We are all one has been promulgated for a long time. But that one became divided. And that is an obvious fact that to me cannot be contested at all because it's so obvious that there is division. Just look at the world we live in. Look at how everything is divided and ask yourself the question, who benefits? The people that want to control are the ones that benefit. And they've used money to do that. And they've used religious BS and political chicanery and all sorts of things to dumb us down, to keep us on their agenda and not to be able to open ourselves up to love one another, to listen to one another, and to become liberated, actually freed from the bondage imposed by the external threat that is demonic, but is present here on earth and works internally within all of the systems that we have come to accept as uh, just the way it is, because it's the way we've experienced it. It's all we've ever known. I want to know more. I want to learn more. I want to remember all of the things that I have forgotten. I'd like to remember my past lives and what happened in them and what I was supposed to learn from them. I, there's so many holes and gaps in my understanding, and I'd like those gaps filled. Anyway, I'm still waiting for real change. Thank you for listening and namaste.